Hi, in this little video I'd like to show you how to fix some occasional errors you might find in your models in Advanced Steel. So I'm going to start by opening this test model here. Okay. <coughs> now, if you have any errors in your model, or you suspect there's errors in the model, the first two things you should do. You should use the audit command, first of all. And the audit command is found here. Home, ribbon, checking panel, audit. Click on that. And always say yes to fix any errors detected. So I'm going to say yes. And that will scan your model for any data that doesn't make sense, such as an object on a layer that doesn't exist. And it comes up with a list of any errors it finds. Very often this list is complete nonsense or gobbledygook. You can't really understand it. It doesn't matter too much. Just be safe to know that they are fixed. Or the more it has, the more problems there were in the file. So the more worthwhile the command was. But you don't have to really worry about what any of those say too much. Also, what it will do is check for any advanced deal data that's no longer required. And get rid of that. Throw it away if it can. So that can... Sometimes, if you've experimented several times or you've deleted large parts of your model and put some more in and deleted some again, experimenting, that can get rid of a large chunk of your file and reduce the file size quite considerably. So that's the first thing you should do to fix errors. The second thing you ought to do is a model check. Here it is again, big icon on the home ribbon. So model check. This one scans the data. The data itself might make sense, but it doesn't make sense as an object in advanced deal. So you might have a beam with a negative length because the shorten is longer than the beam, for example. This one's come up with the results here. It's telling me I've got an overlapping shortening. So I've got two shortens on the same end of the beam and they're conflicting with each other. What should happen? Well, you haven't got to worry too much about this most of the time. What you need to do again is go to this button here saying fix all errors. Click on that and it will do its best to fix all the errors for you without you having to worry about what any of them were. There you go, it's now saying it's removed one of the shortens, so it's fixed. If I wanted to, or if it says it's one's there, it can't fix, I can double click on the line and it takes me to the beam in question and I can try to analyze what's going on myself and try and fix that issue myself. So those two, the um, audit and the model check, those are things you can do in every model and you probably should do in every model. They're never gonna do any harm. They're not gonna damage your model. They're not gonna take away anything you're still using. Just do it. It's a good idea to do it towards the end of every model, just to clean things up, do some housekeeping. But there are other errors in this file you may have missed earlier. But those two commands won't fix them. When I open the file, just flashing by on the command line with these messages. With these given objects, this feature could not be processed. Please delete the object. So it's, don't delete the parent object. It's not the parent feature interesting. It's the notch or this feature here interesting. We need to get rid of these features. And you might see these sometimes. Neither audit nor model check will fix these errors. But the more of them you have, the more likely you are to experience problems with your file. So it's a good idea to get rid of them if you possibly can. And to get rid of them, you need to do the following steps. Make a note of this number. Yes, it is a number, even though it's got letters. It's base 16. So make a note of this number for the feature. Don't, we're not interested in the parent object, we're interested in the feature. So 43022E or 43029, make a note of the number. Then you can come to the selection palette and this icon, mark object. So make sure you've got nothing marked to start with. Click on that command and it asks you, do you want to search for the handle or the ID? So it's H for handle. We're always searching for the handle. And you type in that number we just wrote down. 4302E and it is case sensitive make sure you use capital letters now that's found that notch and marked it wherever it might be you probably won't be able to find it because it's not actually doing anything it can't compute it so it can't show it so whatever it is it's identified and it's found it so to make sure you can select it you just use this icon select marked objects and that's selected it wherever it might be 
if you use the AutoCAD properties, you can see here it's found a hole in a beam. Fine. Whatever it is, it's not working. It's not doing anything. The system can't make sense of it, so it's not doing anything. So just delete it. Press delete on the keyboard. It's gone. Do the same for the next one. So it's search, handle, and the other next number was 43029. Select marked objects. Delete. And there was a third one. H for handle. 3C895. Select. Delete. You can safely delete them. You know they weren't doing anything anyway because they can't be computed. So I've deleted those. I'll save the file now. And I'll close the file. Okay, so when I open the file again this time, loaded I've got no errors this time the first time I had those errors come up now I've got no bit of those errors so now my file is nice and clean and safe to work with I won't have any unexpected issues with it so that's how you can fix some of those uh, occasional errors you might see on your files thank you